Okay, on to Madame Ellisliff, please. Uh, thank you very much. Minister, who does the CDS report to? The Chief of Defence Staff reports to um, myself as Minister of National Defence. And who does the Ombudsman report to? The Ombudsman provides reports uh, to me. And who uh, do military members deserve a Chief of the Defence Staff who behaves in accordance with the Code of Service Discipline? Absolutely. Excellent. Who is legally accountable to ensure that the CDS behaves in accordance with the Code of Service Discipline? You can't, Madam Chair, when it comes to any type of, when it comes to allegations, as a Minister of National Offense, I do not investigate. No, they need to uh, but go who to the is ultimately accountable? Who do we look to to make sure the Chief of Defence Staff behaves in accordance with the Code of Service Discipline? My job is to making sure that everybody. Did you direct the ombudsman to investigate the allegations that he brought to you? Ma Madam Chair, as I stated before, when the information was brought forward, as I stated, one, I could not hear it. However, I gave very clear advice exactly what He's needed to be advice, done. Not advice, Minister. Did you or did you not direct? The ombudsman Madam, to investigate. Madam Chair, I can, as I stated, I cannot direct in an investigation. That would be political interference. You can. Did no, the Prime Minister. No, actually, you cannot. The Prime Minister on March 10th in the House of Commons said that the minister, you, uh, directed the ombudsman to independent officials who could investigate. Did, is that true? Madam Chair, information was provided to PC officials because they're in charge of governing council appointments. That is so very important. In so your mind, in your advice. mind, Minister, who was charged responsible for investing this, investigating this allegation? The appropriate authorities only can investigate. Madam and Chair, who uh, are the appropriate authorities to investigate allegations of, against the code of service discipline of the chief of the defense staff? It would be the military police, the NIS, or if it occurs outside it, when it comes to whose any responsibility any is it to make sure they know to investigate? I'm sorry, could you repeat that question, please? Who tells them to investigate? Who makes them uh, aware so they know to investigate? Madam Chair, I don't I do not direct or inform in any type of investigation. I cannot. It's called that would be political interference. Minister, the RCMP People were called to in to investigate Admiral Norman, and he was suspended when a file was created by the RCMP. Charges were laid, and they were tried publicly in court, Admiral Norman. Can we expect the same process to hold true for General Vance, or is 20 years of alleged sexual oppression and abuse of authority not as serious an offence as allegedly leaking shipbuilding procurement documents? Madam Chair, when it comes to the investigation of Admiral Norman, that was, again, done absolutely independent of our office. And in this case here, it will be done independent of our office. It will be as done any, by any, whom, Minister? By whom will it be done? And whose authority and responsibility is it to ensure that it gets done? The military police in this. I would depends Did on the allegation. Did you go up with the military police to make sure that the investigation was ongoing? Madam Chair, Did you I follow cannot, up with anyone do, to ensure that's called, that the investigation I was completed. With all due completed. respect, Madam Chair, Point of order, I cannot Madame. interfere. My Point of Stand order. By. Stand by. Madame la Présidente. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. I want to have the answer from the minister and not from the member. Please be polite and let the minister talk. Thank you. All right, Madame Alice Lev, continue. I will ask my question again. Minister, who did you follow up with to ensure that the investigation was underway of the Chief of the Defence Staff so that you could take appropriate disciplinary action if that was required? Madam Chair, as a Minister of National Defence, 
I do not follow up because that is interference in an investigation. By law, you are accountable to make sure the chief of the defense staff is behaving in, accord of, in accordance with the code of service discipline. So how do you do that if you don't have the information, follow up on it, and ensure that military members can serve with a CDS who is in accordance with the law? I am, Madam Chair, I'm not supposed to get that information. That would be inappropriate. Is it against the 